Hello everybody and welcome back to the darkest dungeon. We are here once again within the cursed estate and I have readied ourselves a group of adventurers to go out. I believe into the wield. Um, we're going to have to level these guys up a little bit I think. We'll have to just quickly see who needs leveling uh, of course. Who needs leveling? Now, we do have the ability to level up all of our skills, but realistically, these are going to be the main two that we use, so I'll level those up first, um, and we'll give her a little bit of a boost here, um, and see if anyone else needs anything uh, from any of these. It doesn't look like it. We're going to be bringing Eileen as well. Um, I mean, one, I wanted to see some new people. Uh, it's been a while since she's uh, sort of been with a few new people. Also, it's a mission with camping, therefore we really want to make sure that we can grab that extra trinket. We just want to see if we have a Prevent Nighttime Ambush available to anyone here. That's got Prevent Nighttime Ambush. It does increase our own st uh, stress though, but otherwise pretty decent. I think we'll take that. Um, that's pretty good. I'll go over the trinkets in a moment. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're, we're sort of ready to head out again. Um, we're going to go for this, uh, which is a plus two speed, which is pretty decent. Swift Cloak seems good. Like I said, this is a level two adventure and we're taking out two level ones. It's a little bit risky, but I think these guys have what it takes to, to push forth um, and make it work. But first of all, of course, let's uh, get into some of our diary entries because we have quite a few for today um, off of the back of the last episode. So Dr. Sandwich Junkie coming in with the first one for Bacilla. Um, that is, of course, our uh, diary entry three. Ugh, the hogs. Dumb and brutish. With nothing going for them but mindless savagery and their knowledge of the sewers they call home. Hearing the squeals echoing through the corridors of rotten meat only brought me back to the foulest of memories. Thankfully, it was over soon. Over soon. A short expedition to clear some out by the entrance and remind them to stay where they belong. We must have been dealing with the grunts as they barely landed a hit on me. At least, Paul um, Viara wasn't so lucky. On top of her unfortunate tetanus, I think she contracted a few extra somethings while we were down there. On the way home, she was really struggling to keep it together. Here's hoping the sanitarium can get her back up on her feet sooner than later. Really, really like that. And yeah, she really did take a beating last time. So many diseases. But yeah, let's go through our crew. So, of course, we have our Guardian of Never, our Forlorn. I want to get him leveled up. And I have an interesting idea with him. I'm going to use the Daruma here um, for that extra crits received with this attack here, the Bloodied Cross, so that we can hit multiple enemies um, and land that as much as possible. And considering most of his damage is based on bleed, it actually doesn't really matter um, that our damage is lowered. Uh, also, another interesting thing here is that with the um, addition of the Bloodied Cross, we actually buff our own crit and then buff our crit with this. So it's going to be crits all day, um, which is going to be really, really, really nice. Then um, Thanatos here, um, of course, we also need to level him up. Um, and with him, we're just going to be going with the Captain's Bottle and the Gut Slayer. Ups his DPS a little bit and... Um, Captain's Bottle's rather nice. I'm also trying to lower his speed specifically because he has quite high speed. And that sounds a bit stupid, but um, I want to make sure that we can go early with Eileen to uh, to land the Grand Entrance. So the Grand Entrance is going to push her to the front and then everyone else back one, um, which is going to put us into the correct position. Although, wait, this is forward two, not forward three. So maybe we want to do this just in case. Um, if we forward two, that puts us in position one. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Uh, everyone else is, is fine where they are. Um, and then, yeah, we've just gone for the extra accuracy when acting first, if we can land that, and then the extra health as well. And then, of course, Artemis here with the extra max HP and the extra healing skill. Should be pretty good. We do have the uh, the loud, which is going to be problematic, um, but otherwise, not too bad. We do have, unfortunately, um, the fact that she's a bit of a drunk um, at the moment. If we take a look at our town events, I believe it said um, in the previous weeks... She has double vision, less accuracy for now because she was on a bit of a bender recently. But I think we're ready to jump into our provision screen and get some stuff going on. Uh, so let's do that. Um, ooh, one minute. Let me just make sure we're actually on the right mission. Yes, we are good. Um, and we're going to take... We're going into the wheel here. So we'll take 20 food. We'll take five shovels. Three of them. Three of them. Three of them. Three of them. Two of them, and we'll take, like, 15 torches. 16, maybe? Eh, we probably don't need that many. Let's take 14. Okay, I think this is, this puts us in a good position here. Um, I think we have some good stuff going on. Enough inventory slots to make it forward. 
And yeah, let's just embark and see how we go. This could be a very, very interesting build with these guys. Let's get into another diary entry, of course, while we wait. Um, this one's for um, Delmar, our exterminator by Penn Simmons. My hands wouldn't stop shaking today. All the experience and practice proves useless when your body fails you. Is this the poison in my veins taking more of my facilities? It almost makes me want to go um, to the cultist or the mad scientist for a cure. I'm only partially joking. As I bandage the wounds from the failure of disarming those traps, I wonder if the pain is less acute um, as it should be. I'm losing my, am I losing my sensation in my hands? Nerve damage could explain the shakiness. I think I need a doctor. Or a priest. Really, really like that. Uh, we've also got a, a sad drinking song heard at midnight, which is again by Penn Simmons. I like this. Come march below, soldiers. Mine. Mind the dark. Strive, um, strive and fight. Light up. Go down. Down, down. Deep, deep, deep into the night. Come far below. Bellow out. Soldier, mine. Hold your might. Rifles out. Ride from town to town to town. Deep, deep, deep into the night. Bullets, battle, blitz and shouts, soldier, mine, please hold out. Hold the wound, check your sights, three, two, one, alone, far down, deep, deep inside the night. Your wounds are grave, but brave you be, stoic, solemn, um, solitary, no torch, no light, soldier, mine, you lay down, 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 fall deep, deep, deep into the night. Really like that, really, really like that. That's so cool. Right. So, we got a lot going on here, um, hopefully, with this outing, I didn't bring any scouting, I should have probably brought some scouting, uh, but hopefully we can we can do well here, um, I'm hoping that the bleed provides useful, it should, we're really hoping for Eileen to be going first, uh, these guys come in with a little bit of stress here, so we'll just clear that off of them early, it's not a lot of clearing, but it's enough, um, and hopefully we don't get rabies too early here. I, I say that now knowing that I'm going to get it really early, aren't I? Don't do it. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we'll go with this, which, uh, wow, did a very good job for us there. And that cleared off a lot of his stress as well. We get extra death blow resist. Of course, closer to death this guy is, the better. The problem here is when we're in position one like this, we only get the debuff. But the good thing about that is that the debuff will also apply that crit's received, so it doesn't actually matter all that much. Nice hit there. Please no rabies, please no rabies. Really want to be had to be going earlier than later, but it, it, it doesn't super matter either way. Keep you healed up. We can go with the, the fan favorite to buff uh, people up and um, get that stress reduction, but I don't think we need that right now. Let's just take out this guy so we don't get any rabies and... Uh, Try and take you out with this. Oh, really? An unfortunate miss there. But we finish you off. Nope, an unfortunate miss. Again, this, this uh, enemy has high dodge, so... Causing some slight issues for us. Curse of vulnerability is annoying. I'm literally just going to clear off that one damage. But there you go. A slice to the face. Puts us, in, puts us ahead. And we are looking to explore 90% of rooms here, which is quite the task for us. We'll see what we can do. Are often low on supplies. We'll go... Oh, we got scouting again. Very nice. Um, we'll go down to this room here first. Uh, we will definitely use some of that to grab some more food. Only a little bit more, but it's it's good enough. And I'll pop this before we get into battle. We actually are coming across ghouls now. Now that we're in level 2 missions, these guys can be very problematic. But luckily for us, um, it's not that big of a deal. Because... Um, we got the surprise. Oh, I forgot to reposition her. Whoops, my bad. I mean, this is still fine. We get the bleed, which synergizes nicely with this. Um, and then the crits received there is really good. We can even do this as well for some extra damage there. That debuff. Okay, this is actually a really, really good build of people. I think these guys are going to work together very, very well. Um, still more chance of these rabies coming in here. We just got to hope for the best. Uh, but... We we're able to put bleed across the board and do some really cool stuff, so that's nice. Cause a lot of stress coming in here and that damage as well. Him being low on HP isn't a particularly bad thing. Uh, we just have to be careful is all. We just have to be careful. But get rid of you. He gets uh, extra bonuses with his abilities when uh, he's on lower HP, so it's not all bad. That's a very, very good dodge right there. Another whip. 16 crits received. We will still heal you up though when we get the chance. And there's the crit coming in. The 
greater the glory. Nice. The crit should be pretty much pretty faster than loose here. We need to make sure to reposition um, in that situation to make sure we get the um, the intro swing here. Um, 90% extra damage on first round. It's also for that knockback too. The knockback is kind of huge on certain enemies. We want to be making sure to take as much advantage of that as we possibly can. Unfortunately, some backline annoyance here. Um, stress here is probably going to be pretty large. Again, we can remove some of it, but not a whole hell of a lot. Um, we'll probably have to wait for... Uh... That didn't work good. We're going to have to wait for camping to get rid of most of it, I think. Unfortunately, miss, our accuracy on Thanatos here has not been great. Um, so we can pull one of these guys up, or we can debuff the front two. Neither of them have prot, so I think it's not super useful. I'm just going to try and pull one of you guys over. It also bleeds you as well, which is nice. And um, let's go with you for the knockback. There we go. Stumbling scratch. And people are ready for the for the, the the grip now that this guy can do. This one here. There you go. Weakens them up for that, and the bleed could even take care of them after that point. It really synergizes very, very well. Um, let's just heal up here, I think. Remember, we clear Blight and Bleed with this heal as well. So this heal is very, very good. Unforgiving. The resist on the push is very nice. Another hit there. I love the fact that that can bleed too. It just works with that our uh, fall on so damn well. Mysterious guy, indeed. We'll go for this. Amazing. Um, that guy's going to die already, so let's just do that. and Everything's going to die now. Beautiful stuff. Maybe we can get a heal in before we do this. Yes, we can. Lovely. Everyone's up to full. And we'll lob that down. Why not? There you go. Beautiful, beautiful win there. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. And we'll crack this bad boy open and see what we get. We are a little full up on stuff right now. I'll get rid of that two food for the portraits here. Back to our default position. One second. Right, let's push forward. Um, we might as well do this room actually because it's not a room with combat in it. Um, Wealth beyond and measure. we need we need to clear ninety percent of rooms, so why not take off a little bit of stress? But yeah, even with these guys being slightly under leveled for this area, this is this is proving to be pretty damn good. Um, I'm very very happy with the way they're performing. It's it's nice when you feel you bring like classes like this together and you find synergies that you didn't even really intend. Like I didn't even remember that Eileen had bleed in her basic attack, but it really really lends itself to um, our Guardian of Nevers attacks and and the way that he works because he gets a lot of bonuses when things are bleeding. And um, I really do want to build like a full bleed team at some point as well with um with our Guardian of Nevers. I think that could be really fun. Um, just stacking insane levels of bleed. I'm not going to open that for now. I don't think we need the uh, the extra. You've got 90%. Wow. Wow. Our 90% uh, chances have been real bad recently. We've been failing a lot of them. It's very upsetting. But it is as it is. The way is lit. The path is clear. True. I'll go through here as well. Got more scouting. Wow. To follow it. We'll crack this out the way. Freeze up an inventory slot. Nice. Hunger check. That's fine. We've got plenty of food on us. Don't know where I'm going to camp yet. Probably around here somewhere. Got some flies. This shouldn't be too bad at all, actually. We should be able to take out quite a lot of these guys early. I mean, one hit kill on that guy. They can bring in reinforcements pretty easily, so you've got to be worried for that, but it should be decent. Such a massive debuff we can put there. Uh, probably stress relief on you. Try and get that down a little bit. Also helps ourselves as well, which is nice. Unfortunately, that stress has been returned to us, and a new enemy has been brought along. Need to kill them pretty quick to keep them down. Hey, everyone gets an accuracy buff there. Lovely. Take you out. Still doing stress relief here, because I just don't want it to get out of hand. That's a, that's a huge bit of damage there on those two. I like that. And that's a crit as well. Beautiful. From our lands. That was... That, that, that went really, really well. That went really, really well. We'll make sure to keep one key in case we scout a... Um... Ooh, hello. Um... I'm not quite sure what to get rid of for this. Maybe holy water? Potentially? 
Maybe medical herbs, maybe anti-venom. Let's go for anti-venom. Do we want to do these extra battles or do we, want, do we want to just go back? We'll just go back for now and see how we come out at the end. There's no point doing two extra battles that we have no reason doing at the moment. The room battle here. We've got a Curia in front of us as well. Hey, that's actually kind of decent. We do need torches. A handsome reward. Okay. Well Let's see how we do here. Oh, okay. Glad I didn't get rid of the holy water now. Okay, these guys can be pretty problematic, so let's hope for the best with them. Again, I'm sure to keep doing the stress relief here. Um, it's going pretty well when we're getting it in. I want to take out these guys immediately. They can be very problematic. Um, I just want to say I'm going to do this in case it kills, and it did. We even got a crit there as well, which is really nice. I'm going to go for the kill on that guy too, so that you can't bring in any reinforcements. And then there's bodies here blocking these guys from bringing anyone in as well. Wow, double dodge there, very nice. Managed to get our stress down to a really respectable level now. And one of them will do a good job. I mean, I guess we'll uh, pop this on you for now. Why not? Fan favorite. Okay, Molt is going to heal you. That's fine. Let's just do this. Oh, unfortunate miss there. Wow. That finally hit, unfortunately, and it did. I, I thought a body would block them bringing in new enemies, but apparently not. It's okay though. We should be able to set these guys out relatively easily. There's a swing. Let me go with this again. There's another kill. Such a good attack. It's it's kind of crazy. Obviously, it all always hurts us for two, so we got to be wary of that. But otherwise, very good stuff. Right, we do need another money stack here. Um, Push on to the task's end. So I'll get rid of them for the money stack. And then what we got here? Eh, not too bothered about that. And then I guess we go with you with this, I think. Is this, is this just stress relief? It looks like it's just stress relief. I might not need this yet then. Let's, let's leave it for now and we'll come back to it. Okay, so we don't want to use a key here. We can use anti-venom as well. Unfortunately, now I'm going to leave that. I, I just want to make sure I have a, a, a key in case we find a secret room. Because you know that I'm not going to find one. But if I don't have a key, then I definitely will find one. That's just how this game works. We're just getting so much scouting, though, that it's, like, certainly plausible. Our scouting's been really lucky at the moment. The light Shovel for one of these. We will do that to be there. So we've got quite a few shovels left. Definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Um, right. Room over here. Ooh, unfortunate trap there. Ancient no way to uh, get rid of that poison on us, unfortunately. And thirsting for blood. Okay, there an extra thousand there. Love that. And Paid for in blood. Okay, a lot of no whole lot of nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Do we want to camp soon is the question. As the light gains or do we, do we want to just leave our camping for the very end of the mission? Because if we don't have to camp, then we don't need to until the end so we can get our trinket and then leave. I'm hoping we get a good trinket as, as well here. There's so many to grab. I'm really hoping we get a good one. Last time we got the, uh, the healing one, which has been just vitally important for us. Good, good. Probably going to get a battle here, right? No? Okay, last last room over here. No, we can't we can't afford to do anything with that. This has gotta be a battle, right? It's gotta be. But it looks like no dude, come on. Unfortunate. Mind that such missteps are the exception. It's more the stress I'm worried about than anything. We do have a fight, nice. Oh, that is unfortunate. That's the surprise that we were hoping not to uh, come across here. I'm going to go for the attack regardless straight off the bat. I know that puts us in an awkward position, but mainly because of this. Oh, Death no rabies, no rabies, no rabies. For the slightest lapse in At least we have some stress to heal with these things now. Okay, move you back. I don't like the positions I've been put in here. Take out one of you. Good, good. Especially because we can't really get any healing off for another, another turn at least. Oh, 
look at that stress, that's insane. Oh, come on now. Eileen, why? Heal ourselves and clear that bleed. There we go. At least you got that hit on. Thank you. And there's that crit coming in. The extra bleed. Ah, god damn it. We're getting unlucky here. Very unlucky indeed. Dead meat's annoying, of course. Escape clouds. Easily just as annoying. Yeah, let's, let's heal that just in case. Very, very good heal. Good kill. We'll hope this guy doesn't turn into something when he dies. Lots of crits coming out. He did turn something, god damn it. Need to make sure he doesn't get hit. Oh, the really? A bit of stress removal there. Come on now. Any resistance to. Oh, come on. There you go, we got it at least. Right, let's quickly continue on. So too will resistance. And that's gonna be, yeah, 30 stress heal. And honestly, with that knowledge, let's go back over to over to that other curio. It's a little bit of a ways away, and we could obviously fall into some um, food checks and stuff, but I think we have enough for it to be worth it. We go back and we just get that 22 stress off of him, because, like, why the hell wouldn't we? It's it's literally free, and it also then frees up an inventory slot. Um, so, what we got here? 90. We're just going to have to do it with you, aren't we? I would have preferred not to. Honestly, it's best to take the stress off of him now. We've got higher stress in general. Actually, no, it's still better to take off of you. I think we're all out of torches now. And then we'll camp. And that'll free up an inventory slot for our uh, trinkets to take home. And we don't have to trade anything out. In fact, wait a minute, wait a minute. Camp first. Because I think our Prevent Nighttime Ambush gives Circle us stress, the doesn't it? The battle may yet be won. So... Let's go... Uh, is it with you? Prevent nighttime ambush, yeah, because that's going to give us stress. So yeah, that worked out. And then with you, we want to go with uh, producer trinket. We get ourselves the shield breaker trinket for 10 pro. That's not very good, I'll be honest. That's not very good, but it's fine. Um, and then... I think we just want to go with this, don't we? Get our stress down. And I think that's basically all we need, really. Yeah, then let's rest. And just use this on you. And we're actually coming away from this mission with literally zero stress across the board, which is kind of incredible. But there you go. We'll end this one off. Looking pretty good there. Paths and roads bring soldiers and supplies. A little bit of money gained, not a ton. Got a bunch of people to level 2 and Eileen's level 3. Um, yeah, pretty good stuff there. Pretty good stuff. I like it. Right, back to the town. First things first, let's remove our trinkets. And resort them again. And then let's quickly check the stagecoach. Oh, we have a hexer. This is really difficult for me because... Bringing on a level 1 at this point does seem like not a great idea, but a Hexer is a very, very, very interesting class uh, that I, I do definitely want to use. So let, let's, let's, let's bring the Hexer aboard, shall we? Even at level 1. Um, and we'll, we'll save them for next episodes. If anyone wants to write for them, let me know. Now let's check what trinkets we've got available here. Um, we got the Siren. This is... Minus 50% party surprise, plus 15% uh, monster surprise, plus 15 scouting. That's incredibly strong. Um, we got the second of two. Less stress. Whoa, one moment. I, sorry, I got a Discord noise there. One sec. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to have a few pauses here. There's probably going to be another one coming up very shortly, so I'll probably do that one before we jump into the next mission. Uh, but I've 
actually just in the meantime gathered up a team ready to embark out. We're gonna go for the um, the Sonorous Prophet, uh, which is a fairly hard boss, but it is a level one boss, so it should be okay. We're coming out with all level twos. We're going for the Holy Bible, which sounds really good, actually. A little bit of crit, quite a lot of virtue, and a lot of unholy damage. I think that's gonna be a really fun thing to use, especially on someone like Renault. Um, in terms of who we're going for here, I've decided to go with um, Blaze as our guarder, because um, with the Prophet, he throws rocks down on you, so you kind of need some guard. Um, along with, I think Crush does reach him. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it does. But either way, we've got Retribution just in case it doesn't. Um, then as our main damage dealer, we have uh, Anton here, who's going to be using Molotov Cocktail, uh, along with the Daruma, which is going to increase those crits received and just stack those up. Um, we've also got the ability to uh, de-stealth if we need that at any point. And then his Incinerate and the, uh, the Slashing Strike as well. Um, now, he does have tunnel vision, which means that he gets less against Mark, so I had to bring someone that could Mark. So I decided to bring Koshkin here. Um, of course, he's going to be mainly using um, Mark for Death, come hither, and then I also put on Caltrops for that backline damage. Debuffing the speed along with a bit of bleed and the damage received seems like it could be really, really good, um, especially in conjunction with this. I mean, the fire plus damage received. It could be really interesting. Uh, and then, of course, we just have uh, Titania here as our healer, um, just regular as it goes. So this isn't the most perfect grouping of people for this, just because we don't have a lot of backline damage. But I was honestly struggling with who else I could bring. The only other person that I really wanted to bring is maybe um, Hestia for that I and swan damage um but she's got gloomy she's got fading she's got superstitious she's got some really really rough stuff with her so i, I was maybe thinking she wouldn't be the best it, it's difficult to say uh, we'll see how this goes i think anton can do this i think with the stacking mods of cocktail damage and everything it should go well but anyways we'll get into a dire entry and straight into the mission in a moment i'm just gonna pause for a little bit Okay, I think we are ready to go. I may have to stop here and there, but we will jump in, grab our provisions. Um, we're probably going to want as much as we can get here. So let's go with 24 food uh, to take a whole stack. We'll take three of these, three of these, three of these, three of these. Yeah, th three. Um, four of these and four of these. And I think we're good to go with that. And then torches probably take... 16 i think just to be sure there you go okay quite ready i think quite ready indeed uh let's jump on in and get into our first diary entry here uh, after we go over this of course well underway when a particularly ragged indigent arrived in the hamlet this filthy toothless miscreant boasted an uncanny knowledge of my ambitions and prognosticated publicly that left unchecked i would soon unleash doom upon the world very intriguing indeed. Yeah, let's get into a diary entry before we jump on into this mission. Um, of course, we still have a good few left to go. This is From the Eyes of the Enemy by Rockerin. I like this idea. They come. They come. I see them. Hands with steel, magic, and the cursed rot in her. Black and dark hearts blended with kind and light. How can this be? Perhaps different? Perhaps a cure? No, 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 no. This darkness cannot be cured. It resides um, eternal, just as the torturer, the fiend that tried to silence me. Malice incarnate, evil dressed in finery, not a man, not any longer. Time swims before and behind me, a blare of faces and um, names, my death and theirs, all spiraled, uh, all a spiral, a simple line with so many strands. It could drive one mad, the unfleeing, uh, un un unfeeling, undead, and callous cultists ignore the giggles tears and screams of the um sequestered man in a destroyed chapel uncaring of him what used to be a man is nothing more than a shell a hollow reminder a mad prophet awesome stuff absolutely love that absolutely love that <laughs> yeah this is this is good stuff right uh we'll jump in to the mission and see if we can take out the prophet kind of fits doesn't it <laughs> Um, I like it. Mindless right, so we'll see how this goes. We do have, unfortunately, um, a damage received uh, debuff for the quest. I'm not exactly sure why that is, um, but eh, hey ho, we'll just go for it. Uh, so we're heading for, I believe, this here, because uh, it's just the furthest one away from you whenever you're doing this. 
Um, we'll try and take as much gold and stuff as we can, but re obviously, really, we're just focused on the survival of our crew here, and that is not not a great start. I'll admit, not a great start, but we should be fine. I honestly think this this crew will do pretty well here. They've all got pretty high base HPs, or have been buffed to have high base HPs uh, to make it so we can take some hits, dude. You can't be doing this to me. This is terrible. This is terrible. I've also bought some... Ooh, we've got a sewer grate here. I'll come back for that. That's uh, that, that's something that we've, we've uh, trifled with before, but I want to see how we uh, how we do after the boss before we take on anything new. Again, we'll leave that there as well. Good to know that that exists for us. We'll save a holy water for that specifically. Uh, honestly, just both of you have a bit of food there. We'll clear it out of our inventory. Don't... I was just about to say, don't walk into another trap, but I know you're going to. God damn it. We've not even had a battle yet. Like, this is kind of silly. We've not had a single battle. There you go. Just, I just want a battle so we can heal up. Um, so Molotov on you. So the base damage to start with isn't very much, but the crits received 12 with every single hit is kind of nutty. Um, so that's going to really scale quite heavily for us, I hope at least. Um, and get to the point where we're pretty much landing guaranteed crits and some enemies with the amount of uh, crit bonuses we're going to be getting, which I very much like the sound of. Um, yeah, let's go with Caltrops there. Bleed and then damage received and everything. It's just kind of crazy. That's the hit. Give them no quarter. Good stuff. Oh, now that's a crit on us. Wasn't expecting that, I've got to admit. Full party heal and we get a crit on the right person as well. That is absolutely fantastic news um i very much like that but yeah this is this is kind of nutty to get plus 12 crits received and then the extra damage we require only the strength to follow it unfortunate there i'm trying to get an extra healing before we go here destroy them all oh i forgot that did damage whoopsie <laughs> my bad it's okay. We're not we're not terrible on health. Just don't fall into too many more traps, please, guys. Not too many more traps. Good, good. We'll see how many more battles we've got coming up. Here's another one. Not too bad of a battle here. A surprise on all of them as well helps. Wow, lots of crits coming in here. Honestly, to, um, uh, Titan Titania. T I always forget how to pronounce the name. Titania has proven to be insanely good in terms of crits in the past, so it's clearly um, following through. Um, I guess we'll bring you forward. Why not? Get that mark on. We'll get a kill on you. Please don't t put too much damage on our, on our good boy Anton. Or Blaze either, really. Either or would be sad. It's nice when they all go for different targets like that, though. That helps. There's some big damage on you. And party heal again. Gets us all topped off, pretty much. Anton's a little bit a little bit lower than the others, but otherwise looking pretty good. Take a kill there as well. Lovely. Okay. Right, one second. Right here then. Let's finish off this battle, hopefully. I mean, we, we, we could be using Bolster a little more. Um, that is something that I'm definitely going to keep in mind for later on. Uh, but I think now we just go with Crush. I think our really only big problem is that, like, our backline damage isn't amazing, which is obviously a problem considering the boss's backline. But I'm really hoping the combination of Caltrops mixed with the stacking damage of Molotov will lead to a pretty swift kill. That's kind of what I'm hoping. We'll see if that ends up being the case or not. Um, we can probably go for Key here. We'll see if we get the scouting that we got last time as well, because that last mission we got such great scouting. Otherworldly corruption. Okay, so we do have that sewers back there as well to check out eventually. Uh, like I said, if the boss goes well and we come out of it with decent measure. enough health, then I'll probably will go for that. Do you know what? I'm gonna get rid of that drink. Yeah, I don't need it. Alike. Okay, a few fellas. Ooh, that is a really, really rough surprise. Horror as well. Okay, unfortunately our stress levels are getting kind of insane over here. Struck. It annoys me that Tanya can't move more than one space at a time. Like this guy can, but. It's weird that some heroes can, some heroes can, and some heroes can. You'd think that healers would be the ones to be able to do that. To it's a very nice crit there, Koshkin. Very nice crit indeed. Um, we might have to make our way back over towards that healing thing, the stress healing thing, early, um, depending. 
We'll go bolster here. It's that less stress that's kind of nice, really. And we'll just see if we can take everything out. Doomsday, not a big fan. Yep. Not a big fan. But we're getting kills with Koshkin off the bat very easily here. And we can hopefully kill this guy reasonably quickly. Um, I'm just going to go for the party heal here. Keep everyone topped off. Shackles coming in. And I guess I'm going to protect you just so we get the stress if uh, we get attacked there. I think that's how that works. I'm not 100% sure, actually. Fortunate. Judgment. Yes, that gets the kill. Awesome. I wasn't expecting it to, but I'm very happy it did. And you, your shackles needs to go. Twist the knife is going to hurt. Oh, no. Not so bad. Not so bad. And there you go. Okay. Not too bad at all. We'll grab all of that. And then I guess you can just eat that food, because why not? Um, yeah. Why not? Right. Rearrange everyone for sure. Do we want to go all the way back to the Curio already? I think I might, to be honest. Let's see if we've got a battle here. We do. Okay, I, I, I probably do then, because you're going to gain a lot more stress after this, aren't you? That's just how the cookie crumbles, really. Um, how much damage is this going to do across the board? S up to six. It's not a lot, is it? I think I'm just going to go for the Molotov on you and hope for the best. Um, and then do that, yeah. That's honestly a really good way to start off for a lot less stress uh, received. Let's go for Retribution here, actually, and set up a repose. I'm not using that as effectively as I could be, really, at the moment. And then that's a kill as well there. Beautiful stuff. I'm going to say the repose. It's not an insane amount of damage, but if both enemies hit this guy, I mean, we got a kill with it there, so can't be that bad, can it? And we got some good stress heals across the board there from that, actually. Um... Just judgment again, to be honest. I was hoping that'd kill, but not quite. But there you go. He's dead anyways. Good stuff. And These we'll crack that open as well. Can be felled. They can be Beautiful. Um, we probably need another money stack here, so let's put the torch there. Citrine, I'm not bothered. We've got a full stack of citrine here. Um, yeah. Okay. Right, so let's go, let's go here first and see if we want to head back. Got food check, got shovels going. The cold stone you never know a shovel, sometimes you can get so many of them, sometimes it's none. Good. Do I want to go back and stress heal now just in case? Probably yes after this. Basically I was just seeing if we had another battle here and we most certainly do. Um, I'm going to go for this, I know I'm going to get some stress for this but worth it to get that guy awakened and we'll go for the kill on him as well right off the bat iron maiden coming out i've got a little bit of a plan for camping as well and I'm, I'm sort of prepared for that hopefully some one shot kills Another here one yes 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 we're looking for stress is coming out across the board here i'm just hoping for quick kills really i mean that's always what you're hoping for yeah we're definitely gonna have to go back for that stress heal Wasn't expecting it to be so soon, but it seems necessary at this point. Slightly annoyed we didn't get the kill there. That's an annoying pull. Okay, that's fine at least. I'm just gonna go for this because it'll kill. The light, the promise of safety. And then get a kill there as well. Beautiful, nice one, Blaze. Blazing through the enemies is what he's doing. We'll bring you forward. Good. Um, and then we'll do a party heal here just to get everyone topped off. More twist the knife. Really going for her at the moment, aren't we? Titania's really taking it all. It's very, very annoying. But that's a good that's a good crit there, though. I like that. Um, okay. Take all of this. expedition at least promises success. Rearrange these guys. I don't know what to get rid of here for that. I guess I get rid of the medical herbs. And then we'll go for a shovel here. And I'll get rid of my anti-venom for that. It's a lot of anti-venom to get rid of, but there you go. We get scouting here. We do have another battle before our boss. Yeah, just so we don't end up getting a stress check here. It's quite a ways to go, and we could end up coming across more battles because of this. Or more, um, more traps, 
I think you can get traps on the way back. I can never remember. I, I know that battles can appear. I can't r remember what else can appear. But I think there's a very real chance we get a stress check in the next fight if we get, like, two stresses and um, we don't manage to kill them early. So we want to be taking care of that as soon as possible. Otherwise, things aren't going to look great for us. I think this is a 30 stress removal. I can't remember exactly how much stress removal this gives. It's, it's a good amount either way, though. Okay, so there is a trap here. Let's just be aware of that. Um, we got 70, 90, 100. I'm going to go with a 90 chance just because um, with that we can uh, get some stress off someone that needs the stress relief. And this is 30, I think. Yeah, 30. That's, that, that's not an insane amount, but it's pretty good. And then we head back. Again, we could get another trap or, or battle on the way back here. That's the risk we run. Um, I'm hoping that doesn't prove to be the case. And then, yeah, we'll get down here and we'll camp. I've, I've Like I said, I've prepared a few camping skills ready for this fight in, uh, specifically. Some, like, self-buffs. Like, I believe Anton has one that buffs his prot, which I'm, I'm going to use. And there's, I think, a, a bounty hunter one which uh, buffs his accuracy. Uh, so I'm going to use those self-buffs to make sure that we have uh, as much of an advantage going into this fight as we can. Um, obviously, we are going to waste one charge of our battle buffs on this fight, but it's only one fight. Yeah. We still have enough food to do a few stress checks as well here. A few food checks, should I say, not stress checks. Right. Let's camp it up. So, obviously, first things first, we need to do... Together. Um, this is not probably a good idea, actually, yeah. We've got seven food left, that's enough. Um, we want to do prevent nighttime ambush. Um... Most certainly. And then we've got eight left, so I think we want to go with accuracy and crit here. And, um, yeah, that with, okay, let's, let's see what you've got. All companions, ooh, this is good. So that's four, that's three, and that's two. Okay, that's, this should work. Um, oh, wait, no. Would be, would be one point off that, uh, that way. Okay, I think I'm actually going to go for, um... You get the prop. I think we need that. Everyone gets the dodge and crit. And then we've only got one point left. Okay, I think that works out pretty okay. I think the dodge is very valuable here. Um, and we'll do some die ranges as well. Okay, now we have, by Dr. Savage Junkie, a peek into the Exterminator's Guild. Two people sit in a room densely clouded with smoke, across from each other at a table, playing some unknown game of cards and occasionally tossing a few coins one way or the other. You hear Delmar has been going on patrols with the outsiders. My wife heard it from his, um, heard from it his at the market the other day. The slender man tosses a coin onto the table. That's so. Uh, good for him for finally, um, accepting some help. Just in time, too. Something tells me things are going to start getting a lot stranger and a lot worse around here very soon. The large, barely woman lays down her hand with a clunk, sliding the coin to her purse. Wish these outsiders would come with me once in a while. I'm on courtyard, um... Perm uh, permit duties this month. Okay, interesting. So they, they definitely need someone out in the courtyard. And yeah, we've got one more diary entry that will lead till the end of the episode. Let's keep pushing forward. Um, so we're on to the boss now. We got this fight just before. Hopefully this isn't too bad. Unfortunately, we do have a burn career, but otherwise this is fine. I knew it was going to go for the person with the highest stress. Oh no, you don't have the highest stress actually. Um, I'm just going to go for Judgment, and oh my god, was not expecting that, but I'm super, super happy with the result, I've got to say, wow. Um, and then we'll uh, try and burn the hell out of you so we can get some crits going. I'm really hoping this crit idea pays off the way I'm hoping it does. It might not, it might not. The damage here is still good regardless. We might want to try and take out one of the pews actually to, to just get a little closer and hope for the best. There's another crit there. There's another crit there. And let's go for that on you as well. The damage on this can actually be pretty decent as it is. And that's going to pull us forward. It's not a huge issue. We resisted a disease there apparently as well. And there's that crit. There's that crit. Ooh, hello. Um, we got ourselves the con um, condemned so hood. Bleed resist. Uh, bleed amount um, when applied and... Minus death blow. Okay, we'll keep that, definitely. Right. Let us get going. Okay, so we're all ready. We're all prepared. Um, we have one of these. I guess we'll just give it to you. Why not? 
and we'll jump on in and see what we can do. I'm really hoping this goes well. We might want to take out the peas, like I said, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, just, just get this stacking up. And we'll do that as well. There's a crit off the bat already there. Worked out already for us. I like it. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna put a mark on you now. The minus speed isn't super huge for us. And then I'm gonna guard... Um, how much health do you have? 38. Let's guard our healer for now. Mainly doing this for the plus 22 proc because the, the thing's gonna land on us. We want the proc for that. Probably should have kept that anti-venom. Whoops. There you go. Only 12 damage. Not so bad at all. Um, and honestly, we stick with this again. We stick with the uh, the guard there, I think. And let's start putting those Caltrops on for that bleed and damage received. There you go. It's up to eight now. This should just keep stacking and stacking. Um, I think I'm just going to go for the party heal here. Good, good. And then we'll go for the extra dodge, I think. Full minute. This guard's going to run out, isn't it? Oh, no, no, it's not good. Wait, what? That hits through guard? Maybe... Hmm, okay, that doesn't work the way that I thought it did, which is slightly frustrating. Oh, and that's a dodge as well. Wow. That doesn't work the way I thought it was, and that's... that's yeah, that's, that's pretty frustrating. Um, unfortunate indeed. Unfortunate indeed. Um... I don't think I want to protect here. I think these guys can take this as, as they are. I could go for one of the pews here, I guess. But it's just not a great idea. I think I'm just going to set up the repost here. Don't know how these guys are going to take this. I'll be honest. I'm not super happy with all the bright, uh, blight. Oh, okay, good dodge there. That's why we had the, um, the bolster there to add the dodge. Was it bolster that does that? I can't remember now. Okay. Um, Molotov going on. I think I'm going to give the full heal to you and then protect with you. I think that should work this time. I'm not, If I'm wrong about this, I'm going to be very upset, but I think I'm correct. There's a crit with them. Bleed is going good. Extra damage received is good. Damage received plus the repost, actually, something I didn't think about how strong it could be. Yeah, okay, that did work for how I thought it would. Good. And we got the dodge as well, which makes it even better. He can take a hit if he needs to. Not as many crits coming in as I would have hoped. But this guy's getting bled to all hell and taking extra damage where, where we want it. Let's go for the party heal again. Very good crit there. get that set up again, because the repose is actually pro providing to be very, very good. Ah, dodge unfortunate. Rubble of Ruin. 23, that's that's the definitely the biggest hit thus far. We're going to have to go for a prot on this guy. Nine more. Okay. We're definitely going to have to get prot on him. Otherwise, things are going to go bad. There you go. We get that guard. And to be fair, there you go. He died. We didn't get any of the pews. I realize the pews can give us a lot of extra money, but I wanted to play it safe there. And we did. Gain some extra trinkets. Um, extra dodge, I guess. Just take that over that, I guess. And there you go. That's not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. We'll return to the hamlet. Feeling reasonably good there. Uh, that, that build, it was a bit odd. We didn't have a lot of backline damage, but it kind of worked out. We were able to persevere through, and we got ourselves the Holy Bible, which I'm very happy about. Got ourselves some new level threes, um, and yeah, some not not ter terrible stuff here. Unfortunately, creeping cough though, but we don't deal a lot of damage with her anyway, so I'm not going to worry about that all, um, time, all too much. You will know the the Ringmaster demands a challenge. Feelings. Interesting. All this carnage left the Ringmaster bloodthirsty. She seeks worthy challenges to clash with her obs um, absurdly fair odds. And terms, step up and glory and gold could be yours. Interesting. 
So the, the the ringmaster has really put on a huge show here. So if we go to embark, yeah, look, we have a ringmaster quest to actually kill the ringmaster. So this is um this is an interesting idea when we have Eileen here. I'm not quite sure what this all means for us, but we'll certainly leave that for uh, sometime soon. But first of all, let's uh, quickly unequip everything, reorganize, we'll sort by level. Just throw all these guys out a second. And yeah, let's uh, sort by sort by stress. Actually, what's what's our stress looking like? Yeah, stress is fine. I'm really glad we bought the um, the puppet theater. And then here, unfortunately, just a bunch of level one, so no one gonna take on board this time around. Let's just check our trinkets. Um, ninety pro and ninety ninety pro dodge and accuracy on the first round. That's a really interesting idea. Uh, we've also got the spellbound coin. Um, the apostate. We got extra stress. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Got some reasonably good stuff here. Don't think there's anything we want to buy right now. But either way, yeah, I'll go into our last diary entry here and uh, we'll leave off the episode. So this one is Memory of the 21st Week by the Guardian of Never. Oops, apologies. By the Guardian of Never, blank, by Blank Gaming. You seem rather worked up after your first mission. Why is that? Did somebody get killed? No, something happened and I thought it was impossible. I stopped hearing the light in that place. The closer I got to this pitch black altar, the more distorted it sounded. After everything that was said and done, I went back to shatter it. I had to. So you found a Shambler altar. Those things don't lose their power just by just breaking it. They're the embodiment of the endless void. You have to slay the beast linked to render the altar powerless. Most people use fire to alter the beast, but any strong light would work really. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. It's nothing, really. Just something we all have to do. But say... Has anything besides that happened to you? Have you noticed any peculiar individuals? Did you try something new? Well, honestly, I wanted to go questing with um, questing both of these weeks, but they didn't let me go on the second one, unfortunately. So I went exploring the nearby forest myself. I found this woman, Rose. She asked me what I was doing. I told her I was cleaning the forest of its corruption. She seemed content with the answer and went along our own paths. Rose, hmm. Maybe she could be as use as for all. That's all for now. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Same here. Just don't let it be too soon. Very, very interesting indeed. But yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Another boss killed. Uh, we are really making good progress. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.